Now there are several different units that are used for the universal gas constant for ease of calculations. If you look at this table, we see the RU or the universal gas constant expressed in different units. Since dry air contains various gases, a weighted average molecular weight of all constituent gases gives the apparent molecular weight of dry air as 28.9645. Now water vapor, which is in gaseous state, since that is what we are going to be looking at, water vapor has hydrogen and oxygen. Using the molecular mass of these two constituents of water vapor, the molecular weight of water is 18.01528. We can also calculate the gas constants for dry air as well as for water vapors. And we do that as follows. Gas constant for dry air equals the universal gas constant, that is Ru, divided by the molecular weight, the apparent molecular weight of dry air, that is 28.9645. So that will equal, if we write the units, remember universal gas constant is 8314, 8314.41, and the units are joules per kilomole per Kelvin, divided by 28.9645 kilogram per kilomole. So some of these units will cancel out, uh, kilomoles, and we will be left with 287.055 joules per kilogram Kelvin. Similarly, gas constant for water vapor equals 8314.41 joules per kilomole Kelvin divided by 18.01528 kilogram per kilomole. Again, kilomoles will cancel out. So we have 461.520 joules per kilogram per Kelvin. So you have seen so far three gas constants. One is for, one is the universal gas constant that was 8,314.41 joules per kilomole Kelvin. We have the gas constant for dry air, which is 287.055 joules per kilogram Kelvin, and gas constant for water vapor, which is 461.250 joules per kilogram Kelvin. Uh, we will be using some of these constants later, so uh, you want to keep them in mind. As we stated earlier, we are dealing with an ideal mixture. Both dry air and water vapor share the same volume. So the total pressure that is exerted by the mixture is the sum of pressures of individual components. Now I recall again from your course in chemistry, Dalton's law, that if each constituent exerts a partial pressure, it is the pressure it will exert if it was present alone in that space. Thus we have the total pressure, the barometric pressure P, equals the partial pressure of dry air, which is in kilopascals, plus partial pressure of water vapor in kilopascals. We will model all the processes in psychrometrics as steady flow and under constant pressure. Now earlier we noted that dry air and water vapor mixture follow ideal gas laws. This is true from uh, minus 40 degree Celsius to 65 degree Celsius and total pressures up to 300 kilopascals. Now for those who are interested in trivia and want to know the most humid place on earth, well the highest recorded water vapor 
in the air was in uh, Sharjah in the Gulf in Arabia and uh, it was recorded as 0 0.035 kilograms of water vapor per kilogram of dry air. So it must have been very very humid there and the lowest recorded water vapor on earth was in Vostos. This is in Antarctica and uh, it was 0 0.00000001 kilograms of water per kilogram of dry air. So that is the uh, range of uh, amount of water in the air uh, occurring in a, in a natural state. Uh, we can of course modify the uh, amount of water through other means as we will see in uh, following modules.